In this video, we will discuss about plant viruses. And best study has been done on plant virus in tobacco plant. And the virus which infect tobacco plant is called as tobacco mosaic virus. Now, if we see viruses, they are very small in size. So they are ultra microscopic in nature. They don't have any cellular organization. So they are non-cellular in nature. They are highly infectious in nature. They cause so many diseases in plants, animals and human beings. Now, viruses can only multiply when they come in contact with living organisms. And they can be also stored outside the living organism in the form of chemical. So they are inert outside the living organism. A lot of study was done on viruses. And the term virus was coined by Louis Pasteur. Viruses, when live on living organism, they live as obligate parasites. I mean, they cannot live without the living organisms. Now, they can infect plant, animals, bacteria, and human being. And the best study plant virus is tobacco mosaic virus. Other studies on plant have also been done, like Lidelia mosaic virus, Mirabilis mosaic virus. Now, in this video, we will study in detail about structure of tobacco mosaic virus. Now, these viruses which infect tobacco plant, they are rod shape in outline. You can see here, this is rod shape in outline. And these rods, they are long cylinder. And if we see their diameter, this is 80 nanometer. If we see their length, this is 300 nanometer. If you see the structure, this is made up of protein coat. Now, this outermost covering is a protein coat. Now, this is protein coat. The sole is protein coat. And this part is RNA. Uh, now, if we enlarge this, this rod shape structure, if we enlarge, we can say this is RNA, which is single standard. And this is protein coat. This whole protein coat is called as capsid. Now, this capsid is made up of capsomeres, right? So, these units which are making like this, these are capsomeres. So, we can see uh, this virus is made up of protein plus nucleic acid. Protein part is about, this part is about 95% and this RNA is about 5%. RNA is ribose nucleic acid. Protein is external covering called as capsid. Now, this capsid is made up of capsomeres and about capsomeres which make the capsid part, they are about 2200 subunits. And these capsomeres, they are closely packed, right? And each capsomere, if we see each capsomere, this capsomere, this is made up of 16 amino acid and with 16 types of 158 amino acids. And its molecular weight is 17,500. And protein weight, total capsid part, which is making outside, its weight is 40 millions. Now, nucleic acid, RNA is single standard. This is not double standard. And this is 11 times longer than the virus itself. I mean, a protein part, say, ye 11 times lumba hai. And this runs all along the entire length. Like this is also present inside the capsomeres so this is running like this and this is covered by a sheath and this is running inside the virus particle so this runs along the entire length of the rod and this is present in the form of a spirally coiled helix at a radius of 4 nanometer inside the protein sheath now if we see uh, this is the protein part and if we see this part is RNA part like this so this is present here and this is enclosed by a sheath. Now this RNA is made of, this RNA is made up of uh, bases, nitrogenous bases and they are forming 7300 nucleotides. Weight is about 2.5 million. So this is about structure of TMV virus that is tobacco mosaic virus where RNA is the genetic material. We can again see in nutshell. So this part is, we can see, this part is the protein coat. This is the RNA, which is single standard. Now this protein port, uh, part is called as capsid. It is made up of units like this. And this is called as capsomeres. Now if we see their shape, it is rod like 18 nanometer in diameter and 300 nanometer in length. 
So RNA is single stranded. So we have studied in detail about TMB virus. Another virus is a cauliflower mosaic virus, Dahlia mosaic virus, Mirabilis mosaic virus. Now their genetic material is DNA. It's not RNA, it is double standard DNA. And viruses which parasitize bacteria, they are called as bacteriophages. So in the next video, we'll study about bacteriophages. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.